Welcome back to what we call Pastor Talks here at the Christian Church of Loudoun County. I do this weekly because I value what the Word does in the hearts and the minds of people that love Jesus. And then I hope that this encouragement leads you to go and be an encouragement in the other people in your life lives. So this, we're going to dive into um, something that's become... Um, very apparent just in the last week for me that I've seen in multiple people's lives and that is the importance of a strength that comes from Christ and, and what does that mean and how do we attain that in the book of Galatians chapter 4 starting in verse 4 says, but when the fullness of time had come, God sent forth his son, born of a woman under the law to redeem those who were under the law so that we might receive adoption as sons. And because you are sons, God has sent the spirit of his son into our hearts crying Abba Father so you are no longer a slave but a son and if a son then an heir through God I have found in the last week in multiple places of my life and so maybe this is something that resonates with you that there is there is an ache and there is a pain that comes from whether it be this thing or that thing in our life and the enemy desires so much for us to look with our full attention at that pain uh, to look at the thing that is hurting us on the inside. And what we see from Jesus and what we see in the word is this point to see that your life is valued by God Almighty. That he looks at you in, in this moment and he calls you an heir a son, a daughter, a child of the Most High God, Father of the universe, King of heaven and earth, looks at you and calls you his child. He accomplishes that not because of what you've done. Hey, it's not because of the accomplishments that you've made. And your blunders and your failures can't separate you from the fact that God valued you, your life as an individual enough to send Jesus to be born of a woman for God the eternal to become temporary, to, to have to live as a human, to have to eat, to have to go to the bathroom. He did this. He became temporary, suffered and died so that you can have eternal life and that eternal life isn't something that you have to wait for it's something that you can claim today and in that eternal life that lives within you and as the scriptures say the spirit cries out from within us abba father which is this intimate word for dad father we cry out to him as our heavenly father that comes from a place of spiritual strength and helps us to get through difficulty. So if you find yourself as I have found myself and as many connected to my life have found themselves today struggling, remind yourself in this moment and be encouraged that you are a child of God, an heir to his kingdom, and he values your life. And so draw near to that. Let that fill you up to the point where your spirit cries out, Abba, Father. I'm going to pray that over you. 
And I hope that whatever difficulty or challenge you're going through today finds encouragement and strength in that truth. And then take that strength and truth and give it to the people in your life. Father, thank you for the love that you have for mankind. Thank you for the sacrifice of Jesus Christ. Thank you for the life that we claim in his name. Thank you for the spirit that stirs within us a desire to draw near to you. Father, enable in us a spiritual strength that comes from the reality that we are your children. I thank you so much for Jesus Christ, for the life that we claim in his name. And it is in his name that I pray. Amen.